Hello everyone. Um, today I wanted to show how to compile the Clipper firmware um, to install on the uh, Manta M8P uh, board. So right now I logged in into on the console on the uh, Man Clipper OS on the Manta board, and uh, I'm at the uh, mm, home directory. So the first thing that I wanted to check if is uh, the uh, Clipper is uh, up to date. So to do that, you run you. Uh, let's go. Let's go to the KS uh, directory. And you run the script. Okay, the KS the sh. You get to the menu, and you want to check if it's up to date or not. I up, uh, updated last time. So it should be updated. Uh, oh no, there are there are new updates. Okay, good. So I can update uh, Clipper. Okay, so number one, you will do the update. Then I'll update uh, the other two. I saw there are two uh, other ones uh, to be updated. Uh, after that, uh, what we want to do is to go to the. Um, Clipper uh, um, directory and uh, compile the uh, firmware with this uh, with the latest Clipper uh, configurations. Uh, once I do that, you have a Clipper uh, bin file. You will rename it uh, to uh, firmware. Uh, and then you have two options. One is to copy this new firmware to the SD card. Uh, and uh, uh, what you need to do, when you copy it, you need to rename it from clipper.bin to firmware.bin. And you reset or, re or, or reboot the, um, the Manta board. And it will uh, install the firmware. The other way to do it is just to uh, basically, uh, once you compile the, the, the binary, the firmware, you can just uh, um, use via uh, the console uh, with the, um, you need to fi uh, figure out the, uh, the device ID of the MCU and you can then uh, flash the uh, new firmware to the to the mount board so it will do that that too uh, so i won't do the copy on the uh, sd card because that's pretty simple so but i will do the uh, firmware update via the uh, console by flashing the the firmware okay so Let's go to, okay, almost done. Okay, it's done. Okay, let's update to the two other. Uh, them. And those are the web UI. Let's do the update too. So we are on the latest and greatest. It shouldn't take uh, too long. Also, next videos I will show how to do the update from the web UI and from uh, the um, screen. So there are different options to do the update. Okay, this is uh, Moonraker updated and now let's update the uh, main cell option three invalid command okay i what the, do i push wrong button i think three okay that's it and that's it so that was super fast okay now let's get out from here we do b back and then quit so we are the, we go back one directory up, 
we uh, let's go to the clipper directory okay and then a distinct directory if you are doing the first first time you need to do a configuration uh, via the menu um, so i won't do that because i've already done it so uh, if you need to do that uh, just go to the uh, manual on section 6.2 there is a how to compile the firmware um, so let's go uh, and make it so here if I do an uh, I'm sorry uh, okay I mean if I do LS LA here um, okay so I'm on the clipper so oh yes I'm on the clipper uh, directory okay so let's do make and this will compile the clipper firmware uh, in this directory okay once it's compiled uh, I'll show how to do the renaming of this uh, uh, you will get a clipper.bin file you just need to rename it and then you can copy to the SD card I won't do the copying on the SD card but I will do another one another uh, way but I wanted to show how to do it so people are aware how to do it so it's doing the com compiling okay done it okay now um, let's see if you go to the output directory uh, and you do uh, SLA there are uh, here there is the clipper.bin that's the firmware that uh, you just compiled so if you want to go the way of uh, installing the firmware on the SD card and do a reboot or um, or initialize the board you just need to do uh, this so you copy the clipper clipper the bin the bin the bin to a firmware dot bin okay you copy this basically you, you made a copy with the firmware dot bin you take that file and you copy to the to the um, uh, SD card. Now, when you copy that, uh, once you reboot, it will uh, uh, rename it to firmware.cur. Okay, so just uh, information. Now let's go to uh, back to the main directory, Clipper. Okay, and now let's do this command. We want to check the ID of the MCU, so ls dev serial slash by uh, dash ID. So this is the um, ID uh, of the uh, motherboard ID. Okay, so you need to have you need to know this. Uh, for example, to put it in the configuration file the clipper or in this case we burn it we flash the firmware that we just compiled to the uh, MCU okay so to do that you uh, on the in this directory you type the following command and this this information all in the uh, manual on section 6.3 so you can check there so uh, make uh, flash okay flash underscore device equal now on the manual there is a space here but there should not be a space okay so make sure that there is no space serial uh, by dash ID okay 
uh, flash and then you have to take this you highlight it and insert it okay and now you need to uh, flush it then everything if everything is going right you should get a message successful and here is the message okay ignore this error um, that's how the manual um, mention it so you need to figure out if file download is successful uh, that means you are uh, flashing on the uh, flashing on the firmware to the board is correct okay and that's it so this is how you flash the firmware uh, to the board um, now you can go to the web UI and check the uh, check the firmware and if everything all right so if you have any questions please leave a, a leave a, a message uh, in the comment section um, and uh, please subscribe to the channel uh, i'm going to do more videos about the, uh, how to uh, flush the firmware so people are uh, aware of how to do it uh, in various ways subscribe to the channel and i'll see you next video bye bye